Good day, folks. Do you know that it's possible to count the amount of seeds in passion fruit? You can do it for watermelon, for pumpkin, name it. It's a little bit difficult and it will take a little bit of time. But one thing that you cannot do, in other words, you can count the amount of seeds in a fruit, but you can never count the amount of fruit in a seed. Only God can do that. Only God can look at the seed and because he knows the future, he can see behind that seed what will come forth out of that seed. And people will often compliment you and they will say to you, you know what, you are one in a million. God will say, my son, if you come to me, if you allow me to work through you, there can be a million in you. You see, in the Old Testament, God focused, always focused on individuals. Look at Moses, because God knew if he can get Moses, he will reach the whole nation. He will free the whole nation through this one individual. The same with Joseph. The same with that shepherd behind the sheep, David. He knew if I can get this guy, if I can anoint him as the king, I will reach the whole nation in the end. God knows because he's a strategist and he can see. He knows what the future entails. And that's why he went to that uh, well of Sikha. And there at the well of Sikha, he met that woman. The woman who came to that pit or that well we already spoke uh, about her. Why? Because of a thirst. And God knew this thirst can only be quenched by my own very presence. And that's why Jesus waited there for her and he revealed himself to her. He didn't take that time trying to reach the masses from a podium. Now he knew if I can reach this woman all on her own, I will reach the whole city. And it looks like a complete idiotic strategy. I mean, focusing on this kind of woman, low class. But God knew, no, there's a whole city that will come to me through this woman. And he's doing exactly the same thing when he and his disciples walked there to Gadara. Because there was a demon possessed man, a man possessed with 6,000 devils. But not full. Because no amount of devils can ever fill that God-shaped vacuum that only God can fill. That is within you and me. And when God reached this man, he became one of the first missionaries. And he went and he won ten cities for Jesus. The cities of Decapolis. And this is the kind of God that we serve. He was focusing on the Enoch, the Enoch of great authority. Jesus focused on that Enoch of great authority because he knew if he can reach this man, he will reach the whole of Africa. The same with Paul. The whole New Testament is revealed to us through one person. God focused on Paul. And through Paul, he's reaching all of us with a message, the gospel, the wonderful news of the New Testament. Jesus came as an individual because he knew if that kernel of wheat falls into the ground, it will bring forth many like you and me. If Jesus died, Christ will stand up. And live on this earth. The combined body. The whole church. God saw us all. In Jesus. In himself. We came forth. 
to, to the word. We came forth out of him. We were born from above. Out of Jesus. And I bless you. With this thought. And I bless you. In his wonderful name.